Hello everyone, StoryWolf here, and <laughs> you might be wondering what this is. So, I am on the Wizarding World website, and I have a confession to make. So, I am a Harry Potter fan. I love Harry Potter. I have the books, I've read them, and all that stuff. It's totally fun. And I would love to go to the actual Wizarding World of Harry Potter, actually, in um, Universal Studios someday. But, so I have another confession to make. I consider myself a Gryffindor. But I have never been placed in a house. I've never done the house stuff. I've always went by what the personalities were. And it's not because, oh, you're a Gryffindor because the main characters are Gryffindor. No, I consider myself a Gryffindor because I do have some other traits. I do consider myself to challenge myself um, in a good way. So I've never been sorted. I always consider myself a Gryffindor basically because of the combination of traits that I have. But... In truth, I could also be a Hufflepuff or a Ravenclaw. I don't think I'm a Slytherin. Slytherin. Nothing bad against Slytherins. I just don't think my personality goes to that. My ambition is not high enough for me to want to be a Slytherin. So, I've never taken this test before. And I'm going to give this a try. I had to make myself an account. So I made myself my own little Story Wolf account. And I'm going to go ahead and discover what my house is. <laughs> so... Yep, here we go. So this is my wizarding passport that I have. This is free to make. You could just go on to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and do that. Or the wizardingworld.com and make it yourself if you want. So far I haven't been charged anything, so that's good. Um, it's a nice looking site. I like the way how it looks so far. I've created sites before. This is actually really good. So, here we go. We're going to head into this. I'm stalling because <laughs> I'm kind of scared of what house I'm going to end up in. Um... I, honestly, if I end up as either a Hufflepuff or a Ravenclaw, it's fine. Even if I end up as a Slytherin, it's fine. I'll have to rediscover my personality options and find out what's, what is a Slytherin, but... <laughs> anyway, if you are a Slytherin, leave a comment down below. Like, explain to me your traits and what it means to be a Slytherin. Like, in your eyes. So, actually, while we're at it, everybody who is in whatever house, leave a comment down below. Like, what... What is your, um, what, what traits do you, um, line up with, with your house? Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and discover what house I'm in. All right. I've never taken this house before. I'm kind of worried. Oh, that looks cool. I love that design. It's almost like a Beatles and the Bard kind of design to it. It's so pretty. Oh my god, I love it. Okay. Download the Wizarding World app for our experience. I don't have the time or the resources to do that. Here we go. Time to discover what house I'm in, guys. Choose river or forest. Ah, oh, man, why? Uh, I like both of these. You know what, though? I have to say the forest is better. Forest. Four boxes are placed before you. Which one will you try to open? Why would you do that to me? The gleaming jet black box with silver lock and key marked the mysterious rune that you know to be the mark of Merlin. Ooh. <laughs> Moving on. A small pewter box, assuming it, unassuming and plain, with a scratched message upon it that reads, I open only for the worthy. Sounds pretentious. A small tortoise shell box embellished with gold inside which some small creatures seem to be squeaking. Oh boy. An ornate gold casket standing on clawed feet with inscription warns that both secret and knowledge and unbearable temptation lie within. I'm gonna assume that's Slytherin. Um. Gleaming jet black box with silver lock and key. Mysterious rune that you know to be the mark of Merlin. I have a feeling this might be knowledge. I open only for the worthy and assuming and playing with scratched. Small torso box of bellish with gold with some small creatures seem to be squeaking. Mm. This is tough. <laughs> I love Merlin. Like, not only as a character, but also, like, I love the no knowing about him. But then again, here we go with the knowledge. 
I should really think about this with what I would want to open. What box? The Mark of Merlin is very tempting. I don't think I'm worthy. I don't. I wouldn't oh, grab this one to say that I only open for the worthy. I wouldn't open it. I wouldn't. Small creatures seem to be squeaking. I want to see what the small creature is, but at the same time, I'm kind of also scared. I know how the Wizarding World works. What is it? Is it going to eat my face? Is it going to burn me? Is it going to do weird stuff? Or is it just this cute, adorable animal? I don't know. Mm. Now it's a choice between the animals or Merlin. Uh, this is a tough one. Okay, so either the Merlin... It was only the second question. I was having issues with the first one. I'm still having issues with this one. Okay, let's see. Okay. I want to see the creatures in the box. Let's do it. A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It is about to smash and crush and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. <laughs> in which order would you rescue these objects from the troll's club if you could? Nearly perfect cure for dragon pox. Oh god, I don't have... Nearly perfected cure for dragon pox. But where's... Uh, okay, so let's position for the cure. There's... Several irreplaceable items. Okay, so, think about this. Okay, so, troll is destroying things. Okay, so I gotta figure out what I would want to... Irreplaceable items, cure for dragon pox. Yeah. Student record going back a thousand years. Um... A second. Mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's the way how I would do it. First, a nearly perfect cure for dragon pox. Then, student records going back a thousand years. Finally, a mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's how I would do it. Because, sorry, cure for dragon pox? Very important. Um, a cure for anything is very important, regardless of whether or not it's close or not. Records for people... Going back a thousand years, student records are also very important. And the Book of Runes, as cool as that is, and I would love to know what's in it, honestly, this would be the order that I would save them in. Sorry, I would. From order. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Cats, toads, or owls? <gasps> this is a hard one. It's a hard one because I can't choose between an owl or a cat. I love cats. I have a cat. I love him. You know what? I'm, I'm choosing cat. I would take Sonic with me. I love owls. I would love to have an owl, but I would take Sonic with me every, any day. If you were attending Hogwarts, whose pet would you like to take with you? A cat. Ooh, a ginger cat. A white cat. A Siamese cat. A tabby cat. Or a black cat. Tabby. It's Sonic. I gotta take him with me. Okay, Sonic, you're coming with me, bud. Which of the following would you like to study? Ooh. Okay, mer people. Centaurs. Werewolves. Vampires. Goblins. Trolls. Or ghosts. Oh, my sister would totally just study ghosts every day of the week. Uh, let me see. Not trolls. Not vampires. A werewolf, possibly. Mer people. A werewolf. I would study werewolves. I'm a wolf. So I would study wolves. I don't even know what my Patronus is. For all I know, my Patronus could be a bug. Um, I don't even know if there are bugs. <laughs> as much as I am a fan of Harry Potter, I don't even know what all the Patronuses are. I'm kind of scared to do that test. That's probably going to be next. Okay, so here we go. After you have died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Oh, God. Ask for more stories about your adventures. Okay. Miss you, but smile. Think with admiration of your achievements. I don't care what people think of me after I'm dead. It's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts. Ooh. That is a good one. Because they should think of me while I'm alive. 
I would hope they would. Miss me but smile. That's how I feel about my friends, actually. Ask for more stories about your adventures. If it's what they think of me while I'm alive, that counts. I think what I would most want people okay this is this is a question of what they would do this is a question of what I would want them to do would I want them to ask more stories about me or would I want them to I think ask for more stories about my adventures I would want them to remember me in a positive light. I would want them to remember me for the stuff that I did. Not for... I mean, they, they would miss me but smile. I know that they would already. But I would want them to ask more about my life and what I did. Honestly. Like, I didn't I didn't do much, but there's like... If, I, if my adventures or my life could help somebody else, that's basically where I'm at. So, basically that's how I'm going to try and select this. A muggle confronts you and says that they are sure you are a witch or wizard. Do you ask them what makes them think so? Tell them that you are worried about their mental health and offer to call them a doctor. <laughs> Agree and ask whether they'd take a free sample of a jinx. Agree and walk away, leaving them to wonder whether you are bluffing. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> I have done that when I was picked on by some kids in school. I've kind of just said, yeah, you're right. And I walked off and they're like, what? What? Honestly, the thing that drives them the most crazy is that. Agree and ask whether they take, they like a free sample of a jinx. Tell them that they are worried about their mental health and offer to call them a doctor. Ask them what makes them think so. Hmm. Honestly, I think I'd do the last thing. I think I would. Just because. White or black. <sighs> Why you gotta do this to me? White or black. Uh, I like the color black. But I also like the color white. Okay. Um. White or black. White or black. And choosing black. He's ready to make his decision. Oh god, I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. Here we go. What am I? I'm a Gryffindor! <laughs> yes! I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! I'm a freaking Gryffindor! Hell yeah! Sorry. <laughs> Courage, bravery, determination. Yep, that's me. You probably know that some of Gryffindor's most renowned members include Albus Dumbledore and Harry Potter, but did you know the Sword of Gryffindor was made a thousand years ago by goblins? Or that head house Minerva McGonagall's hobbies include correcting articles in Transfiguration Today and supporting the Montrose Magpies? Interesting. Share your pride. I'm a Gryffindor! Heck yeah! Delighted. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, I'm Prefect Percy Weasley. You are more than a wizard. You're... I don't know what you are, but you, you can't take that many classes and still be alive. I'm sorry. And I'm delighted to welcome you to the Gryffindor House. Our emblem is the lion, the bravest of all creatures. Our house colors are scarlet and gold, and our common room lies, ip, lies up in Gryffindor Tower. I can read more if I want. You might belong to Gryffindor. Belong in Gryffindor, where dwell the brave heart... Their daring nerve and chivalry set Gryffindors apart. Oh, so that's their saying. You might belong in Gryffindor, where dwell the brave at heart. Their daring and their daring. Okay, that's what's messing me up. Okay, I thought that was the the different kind of day. It's it's. I understand what there it is now. It's not possessive. It's yeah. Never never. It is possessive. Never mind. Nervous, chivalry set. Okay. 
You might belong in Gryffindor, where dwell the brave at heart, their daring, nerve, and chivalry set Gryffindors apart. Sweet! I'm a Gryffindor! <laughs> Holy cow! Nice. Sweet. Okay, so I am a Gryffindor. I honestly was thinking I was either a Gryffindor or I was a Ravenclaw. But definitely, I'm happy I'm a Gryffindor. We all have our favorites. What are yours? I could do that later. My wand. Oh, I could discover my wand. That's going to be in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And catch you guys next time. Bye.